The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com in the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Rallying patriots worldwide in defense of human liberty. It's Alex Jones. Generals gathered in their masses. Just like witches at black masses. Evil minds that plot destruction. Sorcerers. This is an actual quote up on my Twitter at RealAlexJones from InfoWars.com. Homeland Security funding the local police from Austin, Texas to California want remote access to Californians' homes, CCTV footage, for the greater good. And they're trying to make it the law in places like New York. First it's, oh, for the greater good, then it becomes the law so they can dial in and watch you. And I heard a local talk show host yesterday in Austin defending the NSA warrantlessly spying on people. Saying, well, I trust them. They're the good guys. So just go ahead and spy on me. It's No, they're not the good guys. Even if they were good guys, you create an omnipresent system. Bad guys will get control of it, and it will be abused. That's why free countries don't have that. But really, it's a sense of cowardice out there. I remember uh, the Houston police chief five years ago on local television 
saying we're going to put cameras in all your houses and watch you for your own good. People said, that's crazy. Well, they were just getting you ready, like MSNBC saying your kids belong to the state. The 20th time you hear it, it doesn't sound as crazy. They're conditioning us. They're using psychological warfare to where like, well, of course, smart meters track everything you do and tax you. Ten years ago, I'd tell people, and I was crazy, it didn't exist, because they knew that was 1984 ten years ago. Now it's like, well, of course it tracks and watches you. Of course the camera on the laptop watches you, and of course the schools watch your kids, and of course the police come in your house without a warrant, and of course we do forced inoculations, and of course all this is happening. Imagine living in a glass house. I think I'm going to send out my reporters to do a man on the street in Austin and to the trendy area and say, we want you to live in glass houses. You know, just in case something bad happens, we can see it going on. And I bet if we say it's for Obama, people will sign. Because they want to be trendy. I mean, it'd be racist if they didn't. Or maybe go out and say, you know, we want to make people wear clear clothing so that we can see if they have a gun on them. And maybe even have a woman wearing a tiny bikini uh, under a plastic see-through raincoat to illustrate it. That'll get mega millions of views right there to then educate sheeple that wouldn't normally watch a video like that to say, this is how we're going to dress down to make sure there's no weapon. And like the TSA has said and the police, we'll show clips of the state police, we need to have proctology exams now because there could be a bomb in anybody's butt. This is a total overthrow of all common sense. Wayne Madsen, I want to get into your geopolitical breakdown right now. We're getting into Ukraine and more in the state of the world. But before we do that, because I digressed off into this, seeing this new article that just went up on Infowars.com by Steve Watson. Spy on thy neighbor as thyself is the whole of the law. That is the golden rule. Big brother is my king, my lord, my helper. Unto you I give all. Please stomp my face in. Oh, I love you. Big brother, double plus good. Uh, uh, uh. Wayne Madsen, I want to ask you the question here. What do you call this total transformation and the NSA coming out of the closet and, and, and all their lies exposed, but they just double down and now, oh, we're going to watch you in your house for your own good. What is happening here, Wayne Madsen? Well, it's a global panopticon where nobody will have any privacy. A panopticon is a structure, no matter that, no matter where you are in that structure, you're going to be seen from a central location. So uh, and we would have known none of the details of, of, the, of this capability had it not been for all the technical diagrams and PowerPoint slides and other documents released by Ed Snowden. Uh, the latest one is this operation called Squeaky Dolphin. I mean, they come up with some of the strangest names for these, these cover terms for these intelligence systems. You know, it makes people think of Flipper instead of Big Brother. But um, we've got that now uh, evidence that NSA is spying 24 by 7 in real time on, uh, on Flickr, on Photobucket, on YouTube, on Twitter, on Facebook. And, and it goes on and on. So any, anything you do with the Internet is now being surveilled by NSA. So all these NSA apologists out there, including this gang that you and I and the rest of every American taxpayer uh, pays for, this gang up at the Naval War College in Newport, Rhode Island, uh, two professors, and I'll name them, Tom Nichols and John Schindler, are constantly berating journalists for uh, uh, citing uh, all, the, all this type of... Uh, surveillance, illegal surveillance being conducted by NSA. They get away with it on our dime. And I have, I have protested to the superintendent at the Naval War College. Uh, that guy, Admiral Carter, needs to have his uh, star pulled. He's allowing this national security staff at the Naval War College in Newport, Rhode Island, to front for the NSA and and what that's right and of course it's totally illegal to have the Pentagon operating domestically but yeah. three months ago they announced they're going to reach out to us with a psyop to alternative real media because we're actually threatening what they're doing and it's just an incredible precedent Wayne to, when they get up on TV and Clapper goes we don't spy on any Americans it's a total lie he doesn't get in trouble for perjury to Congress a felony it's rapidly expanding, and it's all admitted what they do. The entire Internet architecture has been built by DARPA and, and specced by DARPA for a system to predict the future to the point of Amazon shipping your order before you order it.
That's right. And, and you know, I got a simple, I got a simple challenge for the Naval War College. They claim they're only uh, doing this in the interest of academic freedom. Well, the Naval War College is the U.S. Navy. It's part of the U.S. Navy. It's not it's not Penn State. It's not uh, it's not uh, some private school somewhere, Harvard or Yale. Um, if, the, if they're interested in academic freedom, let, let the uh, superintendent of the Naval War College establish a group of offices for you and I up there so we can counter every one of those pro NSA professors uh, and, and, and do it on, on uh, their nickel, or, which is our nickel. So, you know, if he's interested in academic freedom, I put that challenge forward to him. Well, I know this is stuck in your craw, what they're doing, but they're not having any effect. They're pathetic. So, I mean, I think they should just continue their treasonous activity openly so we can identify them. I, I mean, my issue is, is that, uh, you know, let us have it, scum. I mean, we're here openly being proven right. We're rising. You're falling. You picked the wrong team. You've dishonored yourself. You've dishonored the country. You've dishonored your family. So, you know, go from us. Lick the hand that feeds you. Now your chains sit lightly upon you, shifting gears into the geopolitical. And then I want to get back. First off, NSA, you're usually telling us days or weeks before, like you said, get ready for them spying on the Vatican. And three days later, it comes out, you know, yeah. they're spying on the Vatican. Uh, I mean, so you've got your ear to the ground. What's the next shoes to drop uh, with the NSA? Look, we only have about 2% of, of the documents that Snowden is said to have uh, retrieved from all those various NSA databases. I think uh, I think what we're going to hear, if we are allowed to see these, and these are, let's face it, these are only being released in piecemeal fashion to many different media organizations. It's really hard to look at these in total. But um, wait till we start seeing some stuff about uh, historical documents uh, from the NSA on uh, from 9/11, for example. Uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna see that uh, Cheney and the rest of that gang, Rumsfeld, lied as we all said they did, but I think that's going to be backed up with some uh, evidence from a system at NSA called Criticom, the Critic system. Uh, these, this is sent, uh, used to send critical messages about uh, hijacked airplanes, for so example. It, so it's kind of like uh, Nixon got hung and on his own petard whenever his own tapes burned him. That's right. So, so if, these, if, this, if this stuff... I, I can't believe he doesn't have that stuff. I think he knew exactly what to go after. Uh, in addition, you know, you know, squeaky clean and egotistical giraffe and all this other stuff. I, I would think that the 9-11 stuff, and he's already said, Snowden's already said, you know, that um, uh, he's got this doomsday thing. If they go after him, the stuff's going to be released. I, I, think, uh, I think that's probably what we're talking about. When, when it's released, I don't know. I just wish this stuff had just been released in full to somebody like uh, John Young at Cryptome, who I would note is also now being attacked by that Naval War College. Yeah, let's get John Young back on the show, guys, ASAP from Cryptome. By the way, if I was Snowden, I'd never come back. I mean, the globalists are never going to let him get away with what he's done. That's too big an example to other people to be a hero. They're going to try to, through back channels, claim he's a double operative or a Russian spy, all this complete crud. The Russians tried to get rid of him. The Russians know what the NSA is doing. Yeah, last month, Alex, I reported on a, an attempt by the British Embassy in Moscow to try to rendition Snowden out, out of Moscow, and it failed because I went on Russian television, uh, the Russian language television, not RT, uh, Russia One News, and said, look, this is the plan. It involves the MI6 uh, at the British Embassy. I, I named uh, the, the uh, MI6 head at the embassy as being in charge of this. They were going to try to use an, another American who worked at NSA in Moscow as a lure for Snowden, it failed. And then we heard about uh, the uh, attempts to maybe try to kill him. But Putin has already given him now permanent asylum. Uh, it was one year, but he's extended that permanently. I think he's best staying in Russia. I would certainly do it if I were in his shoes. And by the way, uh, now I guess they're giving him Russian security because of these threats that you broke. Just like you broke that they had tapped the undersea cables, said exactly which ones. You said the Germans had tapped the Mediterranean, that they were involved. Merkel then came out and claimed, oh, they're spying on me. But everything you said in The Guardian turned out to be true. But instead of saying, oh, you're right, they make fun of you on CNN and then basically uh, deep six the article. Well, and that's because uh, the, the, it's not just the NSA that has this propaganda operation. Uh, anybody who criticizes anything that Obama's involved with, so it was it was CNN and Daily Beast, which is 
The Daily Beast might as well be an Obama newsletter. You know, I, I, I'm.